Hey girl, what are you doing? What you doing? <laughs> this is every morning. I'm shooting this video with my phone because I forgot to charge my camera last night. So it's charging. Uh, I guess I can show you how I charge in the van. As far as charging goes, I don't have a very sophisticated setup, but I do have this kind of charge thing here that has two USB ports and then two Edison plugs. And it's perfect so I can plug my camera in and my mic in to these two ports, plug my laptop in, and then this is for the drone. And I'll leave that charger kind of up front so that I can uh, switch the batteries over while I'm driving. Nancy sees a dog. Super simple curtain setup. It's just a number one inch spring clamp, and then it's clamped to the end of a bungee cord on each side. We got a little sink. Just a stainless steel salad bowl and like a little pump sink. So it has a pump option to get the water going. Also, it's got an electric pump for water. We got a five gallon water jug in the back. This is where my water jug is that holds my fresh water. And I wanted to set it up like this so I can just unscrew it, run a hose into it, fill it up, and then call it a day. And then I have a four gallon water jug for the drainage of the sink so that I'm not making a mess all over uh, the street and signaling to people that I'm in my van that I can lift it out. So if I make a mess in here, I can just dump this out and then put it back in and we're good to go. I wanted to be able to remove the sink to make more table space so I can pull this out and I have a little piece of uh, wood that sits on top of this to make this a bigger table space. Turn this lantern on. Ooh, I love that thing. And then uh, when you pull the sink out, you can pull this jug out and empty it um, in a toilet or, you know, empty it somewhere instead of a storm drain. Of course, the Gold Zero Lantern. Love this thing. It'll charge your phone. It has really bright light on it. You can run this for like three nights without charging it. And uh, it's just great. It's been coming in handy so much. This fan is sick. I have this because if I'm driving down the road, this will just, the wind will catch it and pop it open and make a bunch of noise. But yeah, it just exits the vehicle, sucks air out. It's pretty great. That is a awesome addition. Yeah, so I guess that's it, you know, super simple, super basic. It's kind of perfect for me. I did put some speakers back here, so when I'm watching movies, um, I have a Bluetooth radio up front. But like, just my toiletry bag. I basically treat the van like an overnight at the hotel. Step right here, I can throw trash there and uh, leave my shoes there at night. Like the garage area, I guess, is what you would call it, or is what, uh, like my duffel bag. So I put my clothes and my camera bag in there when I'm sleeping and it kind of makes like a nice backrest for my pillow. Of course, I've got my pillowcase case there and I just use that for, you know, my camera gear and stuff like that. We got the Coleman standard propane uh, stove top. Here's one of my, here's one of my blackout curtains. Love those things. So this is extra oil just in case. I don't know if I need that, but hey Nancy. We're gonna go for a walk soon, don't worry. The organization in this van leaves a lot to be desired at this point. Right now I just have a couple uh, like totes and I just kind of slop stuff around, but it works. And in here, in this tote I've got, you know, stuff for my Coleman stove, you know, extension cord if I want to plug in somewhere, uh, battery powered uh, hot plate, a little battery powered heater. This little heater actually runs on my 750 watt inverter for about five hours. So that's nice to put on if it's cold out. It stays pretty warm in the van, even without a heater in the winter. But that little heater just makes it a little nicer. Camp chair. Just a box here for throwing more stuff. These clips come in handy for rags and stuff. Just a little magnet. Love those. 
So if I pull my seat forward, you can see I've got a deep cycle battery back here as an auxiliary battery. And then there's my inverter. It's a 750 watt inverter and that plug runs to my charge port bank. Yeah, and it, it looks kind of bad right now. I need to get a box for it, but it's just running parallel through here, under there. It comes through the firewall and it just runs into my battery, my crank battery. There's a lot of extra room under this hood because the engine's in the middle of the van. I think I'm gonna add another battery right in this spot here. So I'll have three batteries, one for cranking and then two for, you know, parking. Yeah, doesn't look super pretty, but I assure you it's safe. And I also have a fuse block between the batteries and I will pull this fuse at night and sit it right here. That way I don't run my crank battery dead. This battery is good for what I need it for. I don't need much power and I drive a lot each day, so it charges pretty constantly. I guess I could add solar, a solar setup to it eventually, maybe an emergency solar setup. Just in case any of you guys are wondering how much room me and Nancy have in here, look. Look at all this room. Nancy, come here. Come here, girl. Look at all this room. I am super comfortable. It's not bad. This is a big mattress.